Yo, what's up, guys? This is D Brown with Trackheads. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Trackheads. So today we have a nice workout in the books. We have our second edition of Wickets. Um, unlike the last video that you may have saw on the page, this is uh, my second time doing Wickets, but it's exclusively just speed work and Wickets. So it's not speed endurance. It's not 150s. It's just Wickets. All right. Um, I'm in a pretty good place in my training where I feel like I'm strong enough. Like I said, I've been lifting uh, pretty well. I feel super explosive. And um, I traditionally train like twice a week. So I decided, you know, let me get three times a week. Let me get some speed work in. I've been doing a lot of strength work. So like I said, I use it as a perfect opportunity to knock out some wickets. So um, and also, as you probably see, the sun is actually up, right? In a lot of my sessions that you guys have been watching, hopefully you've been noticing that uh, it's usually been in the morning. It's been like 7 a.m., 6.30, 7.30 in the morning. Today, I was able to get on the track. The, uh, the school had a you know no one there so i decided hey let me take advantage it was on a random wednesday i believe um so yeah i was able to get some good work in uh in in the, in the nice you know decent weather so um as you see me doing my drills i'm just you know getting used to the warm weather getting my muscles nice and activated um you know as i was warming up and stuff i did feel a little bit of like uh tightness in my hamstring so I just rolled that out and just, you know, tried to get the body activated. That's what you see in a lot of these drills, a lot of reactionary stuff, trying to get my body used to the kind of turnover and snapping down that I'm going to need to, you know, be a quality sprinter. So I think this is the last drill that I do is quick high knees, something to get the central nervous system popping before I really get to it. Now I'm doing a falling start again, making sure my rhythm and everything's where it's supposed to be. So <clears throat> for this first rep, I do the wickets. Um, I believe this spacing is for like a 10-7 athlete. So like I said, not bad. Just making sure I land where I'm supposed to. Um, here's a like a slowed mode version of it. Um, and one thing I really noticed as I was doing these wickets for the second time compared to the first time. The first time I ne never did them before. It was super cold outside. So and I was also pretty heavy. I'm still heavy. But even like just being out in the sun and being more explosive, um, I, w if I found it a lot more difficult to be limited in the spaces um of the cones right so as i'm snapping down i really have to focus on like not going full speed and like really making sure i run how i'm supposed to so um i end up doing like yeah. two sets of these wickets because uh after a while it was just limiting the amount of velocity i was able to accumulate so um i tried wickets again but it's just you know the spacing isn't where it's supposed to be so i decided you know what let me go do some speed work i did some flies right being nice and explosive towards the ground i'm pushing out in the first uh 20 meters or so and then i'm flying into the last 30 right really making sure i'm focusing on uh, uh putting as much force to the ground as i can getting off the ground and like i said i'm still a bit heavy um <laughs> some of these sprints probably look a little bit awkward at least in my opinion but uh i try and keep it as smooth as i can 95 percent fast but relaxed um like i said making my way through the gears again there's a nice little slow-mo um, making sure I get nice range of motion. Uh, I'm not behind myself. I'm snapping right down. I'm staying nice and tall, putting as much force under me as I can. And like I said, just being explosive. You know, sometimes people look for like really, really pristine, good form. Now, everyone's going to have the same high knee form. It's important to know what your body is capable of and the form that is capable of to be as fast as. So, um, you know, my knees aren't super high, they're high enough. Um, but like I said, my main focus is just about being explosive another slow-mo um and as you see a lot of these look the same you know i'm staying consistent within these reps um if there's anything i can critique from this is just making sure i have you know better arm swings not being so close to my chest make sure i'm swinging through my shoulders how i'm supposed to but like i said not too bad from what from what i can see um you know i'm like i said i'm using that first 20 meters to really build up velocity at about 85 percent and then as i hit that cone uh, I'm able to, like I said, uh, turn it over just a little bit, initiate that through my arms and really make sure I'm applying force to the ground and turning over. Um, I know for a fact that once my body is kind of, uh, you know, not lifting as heavy, I'll be able to go way faster than what it is now. I'm not timing these 30s is more off a of feel, but eventually as I get into the season, I'll be able to time them and, and get some quality times for that 30 meter fly. So yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is D Brown with Trackers. I hope you enjoy what you saw. I would like for you to like, comment, and subscribe, um, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.